the World Education Portal's project Webs for Thought develops tools to support students in an online learning situation. The Webs gradebook is one such tool. In this video, we describe how gradebook is being used in the teaching of Calculus 2 at Florida State University in spring 2014. When a student opens the course, this is the view that he or she sees. Clicking the Administration tab on the upper left corner of this view brings up uh, the menu that includes grades. There is also My Profile Settings and Unenroll Me from FSU Calculus 2 course Spring 14. To see the grades, click the option Grades. That brings up the gradebook, which initially is empty. If a student has not done anything, of course he or she does not have any grades. The most important part of this gradebook is the top line, the grade. As the student works, the grade starts accumulating according to the grading formula given in the syllabus and the student sees from the grade line immediately where he or she is at the course, how he or she is doing. In addition to the grade, exam, exam 1, exam 2 and the final examination, there are workshops. Workshops are graded by peers. So workshop submissions are graded up to 80 points and they are graded by five fellow students. And then the system has certain artificial intelligence according to which it then submits a, a grade for the workshop submissions. And likewise, it also grades the grading of fellow students. So a workshop grade has two parts. There's a grade for the submission, which is up to 80 points, and grade for the grading of fellow students, which is up to 20 points. Two lowest submission grades and two lowest assessment grades will be dropped. The course contains uh, six extra credit quizzes. These quizzes are produced by programs and the programs produce a virtually infinite number of different versions of these quizzes, different but equally difficult or equally easy. Students may take these quizzes as many times as uh, they wish until the deadline of the quizzes, and the highest grade then determines the quiz grade for the students. These quizzes give feedback, they give step-by-step -step solutions to the problems uh, presented and therefore students may learn from these quizzes. The quiz grade is a weight average of the quiz uh, individual quiz grades. Quiz 1 contains 7 problems, quiz uh, uh, 2 contains 6 problems, Quiz 3, 6 problems, quiz 4, 5 problems, quiz 5, 8 problems, and quiz 6, 10 problems. Now, this number of problems gives the way of the quiz in the computation of, of uh, uh, extra credit. Extra credit is at most 3 points that one gets from these quizzes, and uh, if uh, one has 100% credit for the quizzes themselves, then one gets three extra credit points which will be added to a numeric grade in the grade computation. When students has completed all these quizzes, he already has three points. So then the system will show that uh, the total grade is still F, but the student has completed 3% of the coursework. As the student proceeds and submits solutions to workshops and gets grades for those, also the course grade goes up. After two workshops and uh, two workshop uh, assessments, 
the course grade of this particular student has now ga gone up to 7.09%. No examinations have been taken yet. Examinations are, of course, the main part of the grade. Now the student continues and solves workshops, submits solutions and grades others, and after five workshops uh, submissions and five uh, assessments of fellow students, the student has the grade 13.36%, but no examinations yet. After the first two examinations and before the final examination, the grade of the student in this particular case has gone up to 47.86%. Now, the final examination in this particular course carries a lot of way. It's 40% of the grade of the course. Therefore, without passing the final examination, one cannot really pass this course. If the student now gets from the final examinations 85, since it is 40% of the grade of the course, that uh, brings the grade of the student to, in this particular case, to B+. But it is very close to a minus. This is how the web's gradebook works. You can access it from the course page by clicking the administration tab and there selecting grades. This is a product of the web's project.